welcome back to my channel. This is Tammy Ember from MakeupProductsOnline.com. This video is going to be a review and I got my first PR, guys. And it is from My Method Beauty. And um, this is a volumizing brow gel. This is what I'm going to be reviewing. You know, the ingredients is so tiny. I was going to read to you all these ingredients, but you know what? I am going to insert them. Instagram, you can find iMethodBeauty. Instagram is iMethodBeauty. And then on Messenger, you can find them at and I will insert text uh, on the screen. I really haven't researched the company, but the lady, um, Terry, that has been emailing me, she's really, really nice. The shade I got was O2 Blonde. And this is the packaging. I tested it out this morning, and then I, and then I uh, wiped it off. I just wanted to get a feel of uh, what the product actually does and what it looks like. That is the brush. I love the brush. I love how small the brush is, especially, because I don't like big, bushy brows. So, again, it's Eye Method Beauty. Let me know if any of you guys heard of this company. Okay, let's get on. It's just going to be a get ready with me. I promise you guys, I'm going to speed through a lot of this. I'm going to start out with some skincare, and the skincare is Aveeno. In my last video, I did a review on uh, a few Aveeno products, and I applied it on my irritated skin. It's no longer irritated. I've been using uh, these products for the last couple of days. Let's start off with the Aveeno Positively Radiant Makeup Remover Wipes. I just wanted to let you know I wasn't bashing Aveeno. If you read my title of that video, I put video link on the screen. Um, I was just referring to my irritated skin, so... I'm gonna uh, wipe my face off with the wipes. It's refreshing. Leave that in the trash. And then I am going to spray on some the Grace and Stella Spray All Day Rose Spray just to get my face really uh Just to get my face really moist, I'm going to apply the Aveeno Clear Complexion Daily Cleansing Pads. And it has one side, exfoliate side, and the other side, uh, that's the exfoliate side, and that's the smooth side. I love it. I love how my skin feels after. Got a handy dandy washcloth. It's really refreshing. I love how my face feels after those pads. So smooth. It's almost like a, um, what do you call it? Um, I will put it on the screen when I think of it. Okay, next I'm going to apply Aveeno Positively Radiant Gel Moisturizer. I still have some in the lid there. I do really like this gel moisturizer. So yeah, I wasn't bashing the Aveeno company. I'm going to apply just a little bit more. So a lot of uh, skincare products and makeup products does not sit well on uh, irritated skin. It didn't sit well with my retinoid, um, irritated skin, so. 
Oh, I am applying the um, O. Hendrickson Bright Eye Cream. Okay. This is not a miracle worker, but I like it. It does uh, work. I think it works better if you have it on for a while. All right, now I'm going to apply the primer. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Pore Filler Primer, my favorite. Um, I do have some that I'm going to try out in the near future. Silicone. That is uh, what the word I was looking for. It's almost like a silicone feel. And also this primer uh, gives a silicone feel, which I like. I really like that. Aveeno is great. So it has a, they have affordable price point. They're fragrance free, but it's very lightweight and it's suitable for sensitive skin. It, it uh, depends on what you call sensitive. Um, now with my skin, using the uh, Retin-A, Retinoin, it's all the same thing. Um, my skin was irritated and it did not sit well. It was stinging my face and really irritating it. So. But you guys can be different. Uh, let me know what you think if you use it. Okay, I've got my primer on. Next is my concealer. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. The travel size. All right, I'm going to go in with Tarte. Um, Amazonian Clay 16 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. It has a wooden cap. I really like the packaging. But what I do is I um, beauty sponge and I just dot it on. Isn't that pretty? I love the finish. And then I follow that up with, again, this, I love the packaging on this. Um, then I follow up with some powder. I've uh, really been using this up. It's, it's the Avon True Color Flawless Mattifying Pressed Powder. And it's the shade medium. That's what the packaging looks like. And that's what the powder looks like. So I've really, really been um, um, using this. I'm gonna go darker in the bottom of my cheeks. I'm not going real heavy with makeup today. I probably won't even put bronzer on. Okay, now I am going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder in the shade One Fair. That's what the packaging looks like. And I've hit pan a couple weeks ago it. I'm not going to go in with the Beauty Blender. I'm just going to go in with uh, the brush. It's a nice um, product. Okay. Love this product. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, I'm going to, I am going to go in with this again and just to really darken up the cheek area and bottom of my cheeks. And then I will go in um, with a, uh, 
uh, blush. <laughs> I am using the um, Hip Dot Red Moon blush. Don't know if you'll be able to see that there. That is the shade. Going with my blush brush and just and I'm going to tone that down. Go back in with that um, Charlotte Tilbury um, finishing powder and just kind of go over and tone that blush down a little bit. And then if I still think the blush is a little too much, I just go in with um, the powder brush. And there you go, it's blended. Isn't that a pretty color? I'm talking about the blush. Okay, next uh, are my brows. Okay, I was going to go in with a pencil first and just outline them. But when I tried in my bathroom, um, it did a really good job. So I am not going to outline them with pencil. I'm just going to use this. So it's a real pretty color, zero to uh, blonde. Again, this is the brush and I really, really like it. Look in my mirror also. It goes on really smooth. See, and it, it looks good just using the brow gel. It really does. I do have a couple others floating around here, which I haven't used in a long time. But, and again, I don't like uh, real fluffy eyebrows. And see that? Isn't that a pretty color? I always do awesome on my left brow. And then my right one is the one that I don't do so well on. But we will see. And it's very pigmented. I mean, it. there's a lot of product on here. I'm going to try to... Bring in just a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing here. I found out it's better if you use it this way instead of this way. I like it. Do you think it's a little dark on me? Maybe. But after I get all the my makeup on and my hair fixed a little better, I'm going to curl it a little bit better with my finished look. I think it will look really nice. I am going to go up just a little bit right here. It's really pigmented. Um, again, I love, 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 love that thin brush. And I love the packaging. Again, this is I Method Beauty. If you ladies have tried 
um, this brow gel? Chime in in the comments and let me know what you think. It's really simple. I mean, a, some ladies apply the pencil first, outline, and even do the whole brow. And then they go in with the brow gel to set the brow. But I think just using uh, the gel is uh, enough for me. But I really, really like it. I'm going to give it um, a two thumbs up for sure. Um, like I said, it's really pigmented. I love the thin brush. Um, I like the color. Um, the first, it, it looked a little dark on me, but it's growing on me. Um, I really, really like it. I'm going to look at my brows in the mirror. I don't think they're going anywhere. <laughs> I'm going to apply just a little bit more on this side. In my mirror, it, it looks a little bit lighter on this brow than that one. I love it. It's... Uh, simple it's fast so again chime in and let me know what you think i method beauty volumizing brow i will leave um all i method beauty's information in the description box below so i'm going to be using this What's not to love about it, you know, unless you um, know a lot of ladies go into detail and do really um, hair strokes and everything. But I haven't, I haven't went that far with my brows. I look for fast, get it done and get out with my makeup. But that's just me. Okay. Again, two thumbs up. Love it. Okay, I'm going to go on with this eyeshadow palette, Too Faced. That's my jam. And those are the shades. And for a little bit of glitter on my lid, mobile lid, with a Charlotte Tilbury uh, shade. I love, can't you tell? <laughs> I love that shade right there. And this is Charlotte Tilbury. Love the packaging, by the way. Uh, Pillow Talk Luxury Palette of Pops. Okay. So let's start with the eyeshadow. Oh, I need to apply some uh, primer. Let's see. Eyeshadow primer. And that's what that looks like. So what are y'all's Thanksgiving plans? You know, every once in a while, we go out to eat. Not on Thanksgiving, of course, because everything's closed. Um, we go out like the Saturday after, or this this year it is um, the second Saturday after that. No, it's Sunday we're going. It's December 5th. We're going out to eat for Thanksgiving. Okay, there's that primer. Okay, I'm going to go in. Again, I'm using the Too Faced That's My Jam mini palette. And I think I'm going to start out 
with this um, pink shade right there. Or no. Mm, I'm going to start out with uh, that shade there. I'm going in my crease. So what are you guys' plans for Thanksgiving? Um, have you started on your Christmas decorating? I have a lot of my decoration. Well, I had the decorations up for the living room, uh, my entryway, and the kitchen. And then I have my Christmas tree, one of my Christmas trees, um, doing a lot of decorating this year. Because I am going to have a um, Christmas home tour. Tour here on YouTube for you guys. Then I'm going to go into this dark plum shade and uh, put that on the uh, on the edges. That's really pigmented. I will blend that for sure, but uh, I'll put that on the edges. That's a really dark plum. Okay, I'm going to blend all that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. With this um, Farrah brush, I'm just going to blend. Okay, I'm going to wipe off that brush just a little bit and blend the other one. Let me check things out in this mirror here. Okay, then I am going to use my flat shader brush, wet and wild shader brush. I am going to spray um, that brush. Bear with me, um, setting spray. Okay. And I'm gonna go into this shimmer color here that I love so much. And that is going on my lid. I'm going to spray it a little bit more. Hey, just use my finger. There you go. I might add a little bit um, in the center. I might add a little bit of uh, some really glittery eyeshadow. Okay, let's do the other lid. I'm gonna go back and do this. Um, that's my jam. And go in with that real light pink there. And I'm going to go into my inner lid with that. That's pretty. I like that. I'm 
Okay, I am going to blend everything again. Okay, and then let's see. Um, I'm gonna put some um, Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme um, Lip Plumping Gloss. Mm, I love it. Okay, glitter, let's see. Maybe that one right there. Or, mm, I'm gonna go in with the Re I Love Revolution Turkish Delight. And I'm gonna go in with that glitter there. That is called Exquisite. And I'm going to go in with my finger. Look at that. There we go. There's my glitter. Nice. So pretty. Well, I'm using three separate eyeshadow palettes for my eye look today. <laughs> that glitter is really pretty. Into that dark plum color and uh, just put that darkness back into the picture there because I kind of lost it. Okay, I'm missing one thing. I would like to apply just a little bit of brow highlight. And <laughs> four, four palettes, guys, with this, this, uh, <laughs> I look. I'm going to go in with the Too Faced um, Tickled Peach palette, and I'm going to go in with that color right there. Get an angled brush there. There we go for some highlights. Go in with my, the powder that I used. There's a dark shade right there. And I'm going to just uh, line my bottom lash, lashes. I'm going to poke myself in the eye. I like it. Okay. I'm going to go, I'm going to pop just a little more glitter on. Back into that Turkish Delight and the exquisite glitter. Just, I like my glitter, guys. All right, mascara and lips and hair, and this look will be done. Okay, go off camera and do my lashes. Okay, ladies, this is the finished look. Um, I'm telling you, this is a one step for me for my brows. 
I love the I Method Beauty Brow Gel. Again, it is the shade 02 Blonde. And yes, it did blend in after I had all my makeup on. And I'm going to show you the brush again. I love the simplicity of the product because it's all I have to do is just put the brow gel on. That's it. And uh, I love the color, um, the, the thin uh, brush, and it's really pigmented. You don't have to, you know, try and scrape and scrape for product. The product is there. So um, I really like my brows. So again, I like the simplicity better than anything about the product. It's a one, one step brow. I love it. So um, if you enjoyed this video, give me some thumbs up. And if you, if you like my channel and you haven't done so, subscribe. And always hit the little bell so you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. And uh, that's it, guys. Um, I hope I'm going to be doing one more video before Thanksgiving. But we'll see. So uh, I love you all. Have a great evening, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.